Space World is a Japanese amusement park, perhaps best known internationally for freezing 5,000 dead fish for its skate rink in 2016, which caused a domestic and international backlash. In spite of this, Space World was still beloved by its patrons, and the park received a huge influx of visitors before they closed for good at the end of 2017. Let's take a deeper look at what Space World was. Before its opening, the land, which is owned by Nippon Steel, was largely vacant. And for a time, the land was considered a candidate spot for Universal Studios Japan, but was ultimately passed for a spot in Osaka. Space World opened in 1990 to much fanfare and a full-scale replica of the Space Shuttle Discovery. The park offered free admission to Kitakyushu locals during its grand opening, and it quickly became a popular date spot and outing for families. The park gained a lot of fame for its rides and for its educational appeal. The park did well, but peaked in 1997. And by 2004, the park had accumulated a large debt. Faced with a crisis, Nippon Steel decided to hand over management to Kamori Kanko. They commissioned the building of Zatern, a water park, ended Space Camp, which was costing a lot in licensing fees, and introduced the free pass system. Thanks to their decisions, Space World started seeing an increase in visitors from 2008. An increase which steadily continued up until the park's end. Another thing which contributed to the return of visitors was their commercials, which showcased the novelty of the park and implemented a few publicity stunts. Even when announcing their closing, they stayed true to their unique style. あの。最後に乗ってもいいですか。あの頃大好きだったアトラクションにもさよならを言ってくれたら嬉しい。<laughs> anyway, I'll miss Space World. It was a unique park that didn't have a big name brand image or the fastest rides. But its novel spirit and wonderful service made it a special place in the hearts of people. Other info. Before closing, Space World purchased the naming rights to a star. At the park's closing, they said this isn't goodbye, but the start of a new journey. Space World encouraged visitors to leave chalk scribbles to say goodbye during most of 2017. Downtown's Matsumoto also left a scribble on Space World during his visit in May of 2017 for a TV special. Space World's mascot characters have a lot of detail to them, and definitely have that 90s cartoon vibe. However, there was no actual cartoon, not even a direct-to-VHS one. There have been no fatalities at Space World, but there were two accidents. On New Year's Eve 2007, Titan's last car came loose from the front. No injuries, but it must have been frightening. The other accident happened in 1998, one year after the creation of Atlas Tower, a freefall attraction. A wire snapped at 19 meters up, and there was a severe injury. The tower was quickly dismantled after. Space World was the first amusement park in Japan to hold a coming-of-age ceremony. Management of the large plot of land has been handed over to Eon, and the last I heard there were plans of building an outlet mall at the location. There are no plans to change the name of Space World Station, even though there's no longer a Space World. <laughs>